The Sarasota Opera House is known as one of the finest opera houses in America. The rich history of this historical site is what's right with Tampa Bay. Artists have been entertaining audiences at the Sarasota Opera House for more than 60 years. We've done many productions of various operas, uh, uh, a lot of standard operas, but also a lot of operas that cannot be seen any place other than here. The venue was originally the Edwards Theater in the 1920s. There were a lot of great performers over the years who were here, including Will Rogers, the Ziegfeld Follies, and Elvis performed here in 1954. So when the Sarasota Opera House was looking for a home, they bought the building in 1979 and opened the Sarasota Opera House in 1984. And because of the growth of the arts in downtown Sarasota with the Sarasota Opera House and at about the same time Florida Studio Theater opened, it sparked a real revitalization of the downtown area in Sarasota and now it's this bustling downtown that we have these days. The Opera House got a $20 million facelift in 2008. Some of the the original design was a bit tacky by today's standards, but we did go back to a lot of the original, maybe not the original colors, but a lot of the original molding. The opera company has a unique distinction. We're the only opera company in the world to have performed all of Verdi's music, and that happened over a 28 year period. More than 40,000 people a year come to the Opera House to watch the performances. I'm very optimistic that this will be a place for people to gather in Sarasota for a long time. A very special place for people who love the performing arts. It is on my bucket list to go there. The new season starts this month. If you would like more information on shows, tickets, and more, we have posted a link in this story on our website, fox13news.com. Just look in the section marked What's Right, and it's just an, a magical place. Sounds like it. It looks oh, like it, and uh, we all need more of that in our lives yes, for sure. We do.